Imagine meeting your future self. Not only that, imagine meeting your future self and having video footage of it. That's exactly what a man by the name of Hacken had circulating around the internet for over two decades. So why, of all people and channels, would I not have covered this story by now? Not only am I going to cover the story for you today, but I will be uncovering it for you as well. Welcome to Soul Spy University, where your souls can run free and your minds are free to expand. This mind-blowing episode is brought to you by your likes. That's right, your likes are that important to our channel that we appreciate it so much that we consider it our very own sponsor as we are our small channel. And uh, in order for us to keep existing for you, not only do you have to like our videos, um, but it helps YouTube give you the content you're interested in. And if you subscribe to us, there's a chance you might be able to see our next groundbreaking video and mind expanding story. And when you share, you help expand the consciousness of others. Okay, Tommy. <laughs> now, there is a man by the name of Hacken who had video footage of a time. Sorry about outside noise. It is a truck. Um, video footage of a time that he tried to fix his kitchen sink by crawling under it and hopefully fixing the leak. Sorry, hang on one second. As he was crawling under a sink, he found himself continuing to crawl under his sink until he saw a light at the end of the tunnel, in which case his first thought was, ah, oh, that is my future which is an interesting first thought. And in fact, it was. He was then in a land with his future self and has video footage of this. Let me show you. I actually really liked him. I wanted, I wanted this to be true so bad. Yep, that's him and his future self. Oh, cool. <laughs> Yep, and uh, he even uh, had future self um, tattoos that were matching. This is apparently his future self. Uh, that one's curved differently. <laughs> that's, uh, yeah, so that's his future self at 72. He's in his 30s then. Um, oh, okay. Yeah. He, I would just be thinking like, oh, I'm crawling and this is a Narnia portal. Hell yeah, Narnia. Not, oh, I'm going to my future. I mean, it's just, I don't know if that'd be your first thought. I mean, I get these things happen, but um, okay. This apparently happened August of 2006. Um, he apparently wound up in the year 2042 where he's 72. Oh, cool. Yes. Um, so yeah. <laughs> This is a very compelling story about meeting your future self with video evidence. So me, of all people and channels, why would I not cover this story? Because it was the sweetest insurance's marketing campaign for oh. AMF pension plans that had a few runs back in 2006. I mean, I wanted this to be true so bad, but to me at this point, AMF pretty much stands for absolutely mind. So yeah, I wanted this to be true so bad. I loved his accent. I loved his energy. This was gorgeous, gorgeous story to me. But as you know, Tommy, I don't just post things. I'm very inquisitive. I have to get down to the bottom of stories. And sometimes I do. When I find out it's not true, I don't post it. However, this is a very compelling story and I've had many people ask why I have not posted it. So uh, guys, knowing this will not harm anybody, I will be uh, disclosing that yes, 
This was indeed an insurance company's marketing campaign for AMF pension plans back in 06 um, in Sweden. So yeah, uh, that does not mean by any means that other stories are not true. In fact, we have a whole channel based on the fact that uh, many possibilities can exist. Um, however, that is why I have not covered the story. Um, fascinating, really want it to be true. How do you feel, Tommy? Uh, yeah, I was, about, I was gonna, I had like a slew of questions be like, did he give him like Super Bowl winning name, uh, like numbers or whatever teams? Did he tell him like, hey, listen, you're gonna find this girl in a bar. Do not sleep with her. <laughs> She's not a girl, <laughs> stuff like that. It's like, uh, or like, here's a lottery number, play this. But then, oh, come on. Why? Of course, it's an insurance thing. Of course. So they go, you're going to live forever. You can meet yourself in the future. It's like, blah, blah, blah. It's like come on. Clever. It is clever. Um, however, we should have known, you know, it's like, <sighs> I don't know. Yeah, like he found this guy under a sink. Like he found a 72 year old man like under a sink. Like, you know, I want to meet my future self too, but I really hope my 72 year old self is not like hiding under my sink somewhere. Like let's have a better life. Is that really what you guys want to sell AMF pension insurance plans? Maybe sure. you're almost mine yourself if that's your acronym of AMF. Sorry, oh, that's how that's like how time portals work, where you could only find yourself in weird, weird places. Like I bust down a wall and I'm like crammed between two freaking beams. It's like oh, finally. <laughs> Interesting you say that. That does bring me to my next story. Guys, please do not forget to subscribe so you don't miss that because that is gonna be so mind-blowing. Anyway, Tommy, yeah. Um I mean, that I, huh? That was disappointing to hear that. That's uh, just an insurance company's thing because uh, that would have been cool. That would have been really cool. First of all, the Narnia portal would have been amazing. I'd love to find a portal to another world. Oh yeah, and we cover this. We cover this, guys. Check out all our playlists. Um, and for some of you uh, that don't know, I am a certified life coach. My not just any life coach. Um, I do intuitive readings. I specialize in helping people that think they're experiencing alternate realities or also alternate reality therapy. Um, I'm the only one that you know that does that, um, as well as manifestational sessions and uh, hybrids of all three. But on top of this, um, I actually do help people meet their future selves, um, sometimes of alternate realities, sometimes of this reality. Um, no video evidence, because we're working at a higher level than that. Um, however, I was excited for this story. I'm all about, if you find video evidence, let's do it. I would love to um, bring the work of what I do and what I study into physical being. Are you kidding? Please, please give us some evidence. So <laughs> like, we can show people how much, how effective this works aside from my clients, amazing results. Um, but yeah, no, please, please. I want the story to be true really badly. Um, but, you know, as many, you know, they say smart people ask questions, and that's what we do here on this channel. We don't just report things. We ask questions, um, report, and continue to ask questions. Um, we're not saying any of this is true or not true. I am saying this one isn't, unfortunately. Does it mean others aren't? Guys, if you have any stories regarding future selves or any other world or anything, please, this is the place to leave it in the comments. Please let us know. This is the safe spa for your soul, as well as playground for your mind to expand and play in. And uh, anything you say here is welcome, as long as it's of good intent and not. Yeah. Also, yeah. if you have found a world where uh, it's kind of like a video game, you can get magic and all kinds of different stuff. Dear God, email me. <laughs> that would be amazing. I know there's an animated genre about this where you come from Earth and you're thrown into another world and it's all like, like middle age, like mid, like you get magic and you're like knights and all kinds. And that sounds cool. 
and I know it's a huge genre, but if you've actually found this, dear God, please tell me. Thank you very much. Well, yes, yes to that. Yes and yes and yes to that. But now you'll be getting calls from my clients because I opened their eyes up to simulation or not. Uh, the realness is who we really are from heaven. And so, yeah, in a way we are in a simulation and the world is full of magic via our manifestations. So they can have any life they want, whenever they want, including what you're saying. Uh, so uh, have fun hearing from all my <laughs> other <fucking> clients. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, I was talking more of not... I believe in something and I love it and it happens. I mean, more like thunderbolt. <laughs> it's like stuff like that. First of all, our stuff is way more than Jiminy Cricket getting stepped on. Okay, mister. You know, I believe I could fly. Okay. And then like, yeah, you know, before Cricket gets stepped on. All right. You can calm down there, mister. Thunderbolts. Thunderbolts. That's the kind of world we want. <laughs> well, that's part of the reason this channel exists. Guys, it's true. If you know of other worlds, we want to know. <laughs> yes. We want to know. This is the place to know. And please check out all our playlists because we do have another world playlist. Specifically how to get there, please. Specifically how to get there. <laughs> Also, check out our video from last Christmas about the green people that came from another world. Um, we're not talking aliens. We're talking like leprechaun-like beings. Um, that was an amazing story. So be sure to check that out. Um, we have an other world's playlist. Make sure to check that out. You might be interested. Also, other playlists regarding time travel, parallel realities, alternate realities. <laughs> That's why people get so mad when I debunk something. It's like... Calm down. Look at all the other choices you can believe in stuff. Like we're not knocking the whole concept. Okay, we're just. You never crawl through a sink and turn <laughs> down the future. I'm just, I'm just the first one is because I covered the story and I had to let my viewers know because they matter to me. This one is me responding to why I haven't covered this worldwide phenomenon story. This is why. Ah, uh, yeah, true. That's no big. This one doesn't seem very like super crazy important anyway so oh what okay um no i mean i mean like really important hugely no. are you kidding it's the only story of its kind okay and yes and it's it has video footage this is a huge story i loved it when i first heard of it but I was it. so i'm like I, I I understand the reasoning behind doing this, but it's like it's so messed up that like it's like because people actually like like myself, I'd love love believing in other worlds. I love believing that there's like portals here and there. And then like hearing stories like this, it's like, come on, dude, why? Why? I get it. People want to sell things, people need to sell things, but Stick to another way, please. Now, it, he wasn't trying to enlighten people. He was doing his job. His job isn't to do what we do on this channel, which is expand the consciousness. His job is to sell insurance. It was clever. It's amazing. I'm glad it brought light to the topic. And here we are. Yeah, I guess. But I, I, I thought something was up when he was like, his name is Hackett. I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> that's a good point that's a good point hack is literally in his name yeah my name is axe man <laughs> it's like, come on yeah. dude. <laughs> speaking of uh time traveling into the future we've actually done just that in this podcast so in order for us to give you your next story we're gonna have to wrap up now but we cannot wait to see you next time and uh really excited and so glad you're with us till next time guys Keep expanding your minds and use the world as your playground. Have a good one, guys.